Christ, having risen from the dead, dies no more. Death will no longer have dominion over him. Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Father. Today's Mass is offered for special intention. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, O merciful God, that we may experience at all times the fruit produced by the Paschal observances. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. We set sail from Troas, making a straight run for Samothrace, and on the next day to Neapolis, and from there to Philippi, a leading city in that district of Macedonia and a Roman colony. We spent some time in that city. On the Sabbath, we went outside the city gate along the river where we thought there would be a place of prayer. We sat and spoke with the women who had gathered there. One of them, a woman named Lydia, a dealer in purple cloth from the city of Thyatira, a worshiper of God, listened. And the Lord opened her heart to pay attention to what Paul was saying. After she and her household had been baptized, she offered us an invitation. If you consider me a believer in the Lord, come and stay at my home. And she prevailed on us. The word of the Lord. The Lord takes delight in his people. The Lord takes delight in his people. Sing to the Lord a new song of praise in the assembly of the faithful. Let Israel be glad in their maker. Let the children of Zion rejoice in their king. The Lord takes delight in his people. Let them praise his name in the festive dance. Let them sing praise to him with timbrel and harp. For the Lord loves his people, and he adorns the lowly with victory. The Lord takes delight in his people. Let the faithful exult in glory. Let them sing for joy upon their couches. Let the high praises of God be in their throats. This is the glory of all his faithful. Alleluia. The Lord takes delight in his people. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The spirit of truth will testify to me, says the Lord, and you also will testify. Alleluia.
The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to his disciples, when the advocate comes whom I will send you from the, from the Father, the spirit of truth who proceeds from the Father, he will testify to me. And you also testify because you have been with me from the beginning. I have told you this so that you may not fall away. They will expel you from the synagogues. In fact, the hour is coming when everyone who kills you will think he is doing worship to God. They will do this because they have not known either the Father or me. I have told you this so that their hour comes, you may remember that I told you. The Gospel of the Lord. First reading, we see this woman, Lydia, practicing the virtue of hospitality with the apostles. So important is to be uh, welcoming, welcoming people, welcoming parish, welcoming Christians, the church where our Lord gave us. One of the works of mercy is welcoming the stranger the suffering, the immigrant, the refugees. It's part of our Christian doctrine, helping those who are in need. The Gospel Jesus talk about persecution. This has happened through the centuries. So many Christians still die today just by professing the word of Jesus, professing the faith in the church, and again, we have the promise of the Advocate. As we get closer to Pentecost, Jesus reminds us of the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of Truth that proceeds from the Father. And that Spirit is the one that gives us the strength to testify on His name, even in the midst of persecution. As we um, get closer to Pentecost, let us ask for the new Pentecost for all the church, especially in those places where there is big persecution. Amen. Please stand. Together with one voice, let us call on the mercy of the Father in offering up our prayers. For the church, may God guide her as she continues to take the Easter message of the risen Lord to all, all parts of the world. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For government leaders, may the Holy Spirit inspire their work in defending the dignity and sanctity of human life and for the people of Ukraine, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For those suffering from anxiety of any mental anguish, may the Lord grant them comfort, healing, and a sense of wholeness, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For those within our community who are unemployed or lack stable housing, may the Lord in his mercy provide for them, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. 
for all those who have died. May they be lovingly received into the arms of Jesus in heaven, we pray. Lord, Lord our prayer. Merciful Father, we humbly ask you to hear our prayers and grant our petitions. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Through the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Through the divine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Receive, O Lord, we pray, these offerings of your exultant church, and as you have given her a cause for such great gladness, grant also that the gifts we bring may bear fruit in perpetual happiness. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord with you. Lift up your hearts. He lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. Please to be right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. For in this time, above all, to laud you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying he has destroyed our death, and by rising restored our life. Therefore, overcome with Paschal joy, Every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks broken, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
the mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. And bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Gregory John, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, the Saint Thomas Aquinas, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be God heirs to eternal life, we may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days. And by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, the glory, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. With your spirit, let us offer one another a sign of Christ's peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter on the my room, for only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Jesus stood in the midst of his disciples and said to them, Peace be with you. Alleluia.
Let us pray. Look with kindness upon your people, O Lord, and grant, we pray, those who were pleased to renew by eternal mysteries may attain in their flesh the incorruptible glory of the resurrection. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord with your lives. Thanks be to God.